So, how is March going? It's time for a check-in. As you can see, like right here, the sun is so bright right now. It is super, super sunshiny in this room, so I had to actually move over to a weird part of the room um, to film. So, because I was completely washed out on my camera and I couldn't get it to look right. So, new digs, same room, nothing exciting. Mid-month, I bet you're wondering. We are halfway through March and let me give you a quick little update. The beginning of the month went smoothly. We have the vast majority of our debts and payments and everything, phone, everything, you name it, it comes in within the first 10 days of the month. So all of that has been paid. We are down to the last dregs of money in our checking account because as you know, we work on a zero-based budget. So most of the money has been moved around. We do pay, I know some people pay off their debt at the end of the month. We actually pay it off at the beginning because we've learned over you know, the course of, of doing this plan that if we wait until the end of the month, we end up not putting as much toward debt as we had originally intended. So we always do it within the first few days of the month. We transfer all our money over to debt. So that's been done. So now we just have, you know, our, our month, our weekly cash and all of that to, to last for the month. Oh, and our sinking funds transfer and our car payment is at the end of the month. So, so we have a couple of things left, but not any, you know, there's no real cushion. We still have our cushion on our budget in the first half of the month. We used it a couple of times, but little expenses. Uh, nothing exciting, which I'll cover at the end of the month. Our tax money to pay the CPA is still in our account because we have not, we haven't, our CPA still hasn't told us how much we're going to have to pay him to do our taxes. I expect we won't get a bill until around February, or February, around April. He's a super busy CPA, so I'm guessing he probably is not sleeping right now. <laughs> could not pay me enough to be a CPA. I'd make a horrible CPA. Oh my goodness. I just, no. And uh, truthfully, I don't know if we're going to get money back. We're going to owe. We have set up our taxes over the course of the years to be almost exact, but with Mauricio being self-employed according to the tax code, I don't know how that's going to factor in because up until this point, he always had taxes pulled out. Now, the way we did our taxes this year is that we pulled out Mauricio's taxes out of my salary. So my paycheck, when um, it comes into our bank account, is actually significantly lower than it is um, prior because we have so much extra pulled out for taxes. It just, uh, I didn't, I, I didn't want to have to deal with figuring out how much we owed in taxes quarterly. So it could be, it could go any direction. I really don't know. I will be interested to see. Hopefully we won't owe a lot. Um, I don't think we will. I really don't. I, I think we're going to be okay. So for the big drama and probably one of the reasons that our budget has been so on, on par this month is because we have all been sick. And if you're anywhere in the United States, everybody is sick right now. The flu went around. We did not get the flu. We get our flu shots. And I guess the flu that went around up here was a strain that we got vaccinated for. So it went around Melly School, but we did not get it. We did, however, get a weird cold that was super annoying and lasted for about a week and a half. And oddly enough, I was the first one to come down with it. I never get sick and I was the first one to get sick. Not a big deal for me, Emelina and Mauricio. I was a little concerned for my dad because he and we had some major, major pneumonia issues last year. Both he and Melina got pneumonia last year and that was super scary for my dad. Melina has gotten pneumonia several times. Um, they're wondering, her pediatrician actually mentioned to me that if she got pneumonia one more time that they were going to do a lung test because they there might be some sort of defect in that particular part of her lung because she always gets pneumonia in the exact same spot. So we always are fortunate. We catch it really early. We know with her behavior, the warning signs of pneumonia. So, so far we haven't seen them in Melina. She's, you know, she's doing great. She's still sick, but um, she's getting there. So the last thing I really wanted to talk to you guys about is regarding our budget 
And I am totally okay with you guys commenting about, you know, where we allocate our money. For example, the storage unit. I realize the storage unit is extremely expensive, but we have our reasons for keeping it. And I'm actually going to do a whole video on the storage unit where I actually go out there, but it's just too dang cold right now. We, I have run the numbers about 10 million times and it is far more cost beneficial for us to keep that storage unit and pay it. Even if we kept it for like four years, it would still be cost beneficial. And again, I'll go into that later when I do a full video on it. But, and if you have any questions about those kind of expenses, I'm totally okay with you asking. The only thing I ask is that you be respectful. Now I realize the vast majority of you, like 99.9% .9 of you are super kind and super nice. And, and when you have questions, you have genuine questions and I'm totally cool with those. And even like the snarky questions, I am totally cool with. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, let you know how the month's going. We're doing well and we'll probably next week be way, way better because nobody will be sick. I'm tired of being sick. I've been sick for almost over a week. I've been sick for a while and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being sick. So anyway, I will see you in the next one. See ya. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me. So go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.